Welcome back to Photography by Harrison and today I'm going to give you another tour of my hometown through my imagination. I'm going to ask you some questions and hopefully you can answer them for me. And with that being said, I will see you on the other side. Have you ever looked at a water tower and asked this question? If it was filled with liquid gold, how valuable would it be? Do you ever look at a sign like this and wonder who does the authorization and what kind of authorization do I suppose have and if I can't park here to go inside I, can, I cannot even get the authorization. These are just my thoughts. Have you ever wondered how convenient it is that a restaurant that specializes in fresh vegetables is right across the street from the farmers market where you can get those fresh vegetables? Maybe you can solve this mystery that has baffled mankind from the beginning. What came first, the small monkey or the giant banana? Let us know. You know there's not a small town in the south that doesn't have a railroad tracks probably running through the center of town. But we have something better than that. We have an internationally famous mural that if you use your imagination, you can hear the sound of the train and feel the vibrations. No, this is not the yellow brick road to Oz, but it is a brick road celebrating our heroes. And who are our heroes? Our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, and our brothers. That's who heroes are. You have heard the saying, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around, it's still making noise. Well, the question I'm asking you, if there's a beautiful fountain around, and there's no one around to enjoy it, is it still just as beautiful? Well, I think so. Every city has a bicentennial park, but in yours, can you hear the footsteps of the soldiers? Can you hear the sounds of the muskets? And do you see the smoke in there? Well, if you use your imagination, and this one you can. To some people, this is a gateway to another dimension. But to others, it's just a useless puddle of water. What is it to you? What do you see? If this old mill could talk, do you wonder what stories it would tell? What do you see? Do you see just a pile of bricks on the ground? Or do you see with your imagination and wonder the skill it took for the hands to take these bricks that are now on the ground to build such a fabulous structure that we now take for granted? Are you like me? Have you always been fascinated with tattoos? Do I have any tattoos? No, I do not. But if you have read The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury at least 50 times like I have, then you will understand the lure. Because they're not tattoos, they're body illustrations. And each one tells you a story. And if you stare deep into it, it will come alive. Have you ever wondered how flea markets got their name? Because there's never any fleas for sale. And if you know, leave your answer in the comments below. This is the internationally famous mural in downtown Ashbury. Every picture tells a story. What story do you hear? What is it saying to you? Let me know in the comments below. You know I had to get a photography in this video, but I found out before you intrude on someone else's space, Always be courteous and ask, because 99 out of 100, if you're nice to them, respect them, they will say yes. I want to thank you for coming along with me on this imaginary journey through my hometown. And if you like what you see, give a thumbs up. That way it motivates me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave a thumbs down, but just tell me why you don't like it, because then again, that will also motivate me to go out and do videos that you will like the next time. Because I've said it before and I will say it again, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all, and the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And with that, I will see you next time.